After that case, another woman came in around 2 a.m. Head on P. I just took her straight to the second stage room and she had her baby. Oh my god, I'm so exhausted. This my last night was so busy, guys. But you hate me. Hello guys, so I'm at work now and I do not currently have any woman in level. I'll be going to antenatal clinic to assist the nurse there since I do not have any patient right now. Alright. So guys, I just got to work right now and we currently don't have any patients at the moment but I'm expecting someone for delivery, a prime me but she's just a tip so she was sent back home but to return back to the hospital when the contraction gets stronger or she sees show or membrane then she can come back to the hospital so I'm just going to prepare this place for her in case I'm expecting her in case she comes okay so this is how my night duty is going right now and the time this is currently our night duty starts from 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. the next day and this is currently 5 this is currently five after five so i'm just going to prepare this place and get ready for her in case she comes the beds are already well made i'm just going to check and be sure everything um we have everything okay okay injection buscopan we usually give them buscopan injection just to help soften the cervix i'm just checking to see if we have every other thing i'll be needing and let's go to the second stage room so this is where we move them over to when they are fully dilated so we monitor the level progress in the observation room this is the observation room Trying to make sure we have all the materials I'll need to prepare. This is the water, ten percent. We usually use five percent the water for them, but ten percent when we have um, a baby with a low blood sugar, because we check their random blood sugar immediately after birth for our babies. So once we notice the baby has low blood sugar, we set up 10% tea water for them. Another delivery pack here. Then inside here, we have the sutures. In case we give episiotomy or 
the women have here then vitamin k injection for our newborn then this is oxytocin also buscopan injection hyacin this is misoprostol in sat after birth we also use it for induction of labor so i'm just going to quickly arrange this place you can see it's scattered it's disorganized and i don't like walking when everywhere is looking you know disorganized and this is the little cane guys this is the next morning and the patients i was expecting didn't come i ended up working in pediatrics ward i went there to assist the nurses there and do some stuff for them serve medications and all of that i'm back to labor ward right now what's the time this is 6 25 a.m remember i came here 5 p.m so this is like total of 15 hours shift that is what i do here 15 hours night shift i'll be leaving here 8 a.m i finished baiting the babies the newborns we have i had like three newborns and i just finished baiting them they're in general world i came back to labor world to arrange this place before my shift is over guys i'm finally done with my shift and i'm heading home now this is 8 43 okay 8 44 now am and it's raining really badly here this is what the weather looks like it's actually raining it's actually raining <laughs> i'm done preparing i'm ready to go with my very light and beautiful makeup so let's go i already have my bag packed this is my food bag and this is my handbag and i have my car keys here so i'm off So guys the time is currently 7 38 pm i came to work at 5 pm because the night shift here usually starts at 5 pm i came to work then and i had a woman in labor she was already in active phase of labor like she was already full i was about to start pushing when i came to work so i took that delivery and she really cooperated she did well she pushed when she was asked to push so she really cooperated and she made it very easy for all of us she delivered a healthy male baby i've just transferred her to postnatal ward and i'm about to document the delivery 
stay in the system so let's do that together I'm done documenting the delivery and the time is currently 8 48 p.m i need to eat something i'm famished like i really need to eat something right now Ta -da! this is my final night shift for now as you can see i'm super super excited i did five days night shift five days 15 hours night shift at a stretch guys five days i started vlogging from my third day and my fourth day and then today is the fifth day and the final day for now guys i am so excited well i'm already dressed up and ready to go to work and i hope today's shift is going to be a very calm one so i'm heading off to work now see you guys when i get to work hello guys good morning i know i said i'm going to talk to you guys when i get to work <laughs> immediately i got to work i think around 6 p.m 7 p.m i had a woman for mva manual vacuum aspiration she had an incomplete miscarriage as a result of multiple fibroids after the procedure with the doctor i had to monitor the lady make sure she's okay before it's meant to be a day case like just do it and we'll take care of you give you some drugs and you go home but after the procedure i think she started having chills and you know her house according to her is also too far from um the hospital and it was already getting late she was there with her husband so they decided to spend the night in the hospital that was what i've been doing <laughs> so i had to like stay take care of her monitor her temperature and do other things for her before transferring her from level ward to the general ward and she's currently there well as i'm talking to you guys now it's already 6 10 a.m this is the next morning after that case another woman came in around 2 a.m in the morning head on pee like she was already full and ready to push as she came into the hospital so we just i just took her straight to the second stage room and she had a baby she had a, a live female baby she's okay the baby is okay so now this is six okay this is 6 11 a.m and i'm about to go to the ward we have a patient a woman that had a baby i think day before yesterday she's in general ward and i'll be going there to bait her baby that is what i'm going to be doing today so talk to you guys later i'm just happy that this is my last night like once it's 8 a.m and i'm done from work i will go back home and rest for four days <laughs> all right guys bye see you guys later i'm finally done with my night shift <sighs> I can't believe this god i'm so excited you know that feeling when you're on people that run shifts to understand what i'm saying that last shift that your final shift when you come out from that night shift and you're done you know that feeling that joy there's this joy in that joy you're feeling like you feel like you're relieved of something guys i'm so happy i can't believe i'm done like i'm going home now to go and have some rest which rest i still need to cook hey but then i'm done with the shifts at least for now let me go and rest guys hey god this is my five days night shift it has been so busy like back to back busy jesus back to back like finally going home to go and have some rest guys if i get home now i still need to cook because i don't have any food at home right now so i need to go to the market buy some things and cook so no rest though there is no rest guys and i have some other things i also need to do so that is it for now 
all right guys i'm heading home now see you all in my next video if you enjoyed this my my hospital vlog just let me know in the comment section guys and give the video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't oh my god i'm so exhausted my last this my last night was so busy guys i stayed awake all through but then if you enjoyed the if you enjoyed this vlog just let me know okay and please like the video just give the video a thumbs up i beg i beg so <laughs> i beg just like the video guys okay like the video leave a comment in the comment section and subscribe to my channel i beg i beg i beg all right guys i'm done with the vlog cha. i'm done i'm done with the vlog see you all in my next one bye